Let me move to television in the courts. And uh, it's a question that uh, uh, many of us are interested in. I always ask, and I've introduced legislation twice, come out of committee twice, to uh, require the court to televise. The court doesn't have to listen to Congress. Uh, the court can uh, say separation of powers precludes our saying anything. But the Congress does have administrative uh, procedural uh, jurisdiction. We decide the court convenes the first Monday in October. We decide there are nine justices. We they try to make it 15 once in the court packing era, six justices for a quorum, et cetera. Uh, Speedy Trial Act telling uh, the courts how they have to move at a certain speed, habeas corpus uh, on time limits. Uh, Justice Stevens has uh, said that it's uh, worth a try. Uh, Justice Ginsburg at one time said that uh, if it was gavel to gavel, it would be fine. Justice Kennedy said it was uh, uh, inevitable. Uh, the record of the justices appearing on television is uh, extensive. Chief Justice Roberts and Justice Stevens were on primetime ABC, Justice Ginsburg on CBS, Justice Breyer on Fox News, and, uh, and, and so forth uh, uh, down the line. Uh, we all know that the Senate and House are televised, and we all know the tremendous, tremendous interest in your nominating process, and it happens all the time. There's a lot of public interest, but the court is the least accountable. In fact, you might say the court is unaccountable. Uh, when uh, Bush versus Gore was decided, uh, then Senator Biden uh, and I wrote to Chief Justice uh, Rehnquist asking that uh, television be permitted, got back a prompt answer, no. And that was quite a scene across the street. The television trucks were just enormous all over the place. You had to be the chairman of the committee to uh, get a seat inside the, inside the chamber. The Supreme Court decides all the cutting edge questions of the day. The right woman to choose, abortion, death penalty, uh, organized crime, uh, every cutting edge question. And uh, Bush versus Gore was probably the biggest uh, was one of the biggest cases, arguably the biggest case. More than 100 million people voted in that election, <laughs> and the presidency was decided by one vote. And Justice Scalia had uh, uh, this to say about irreparable harm. The counting of votes that are of questionable legality does, in my view, threaten irreparable harm to referring to President Bush or candidate Bush and to the country by casting a cloud upon what he claims to be the legitimacy of the election. Permitting the court to proceed on that erroneous basis will prevent an account, an accurate recount from being conducted on a proper basis later. Hard to understand what recount there was going to be later. Uh, I wrote about it at the time, saying that I thought it was uh, uh, an atrocious uh, uh, accounting of, uh, of uh, uh, irreparable harm, hard to calculate, uh, hard to calculate that. And my question, uh, uh, Judge Sotomayor, uh, shouldn't the American people have access to what is happening in the Supreme Court to try to understand it, to have access to uh, what the judges do by way of their workload, uh, by way of their activities when they adjourn in June and reconvene in October, this year in September. Uh, wouldn't it be more appropriate in a democracy to let the people take a look inside the court through television? Supreme Court said in the Richmond newspapers case decades ago that it wasn't just the accused that had a right to a public trial, it was the press <laughs> and the public as well. And now it's more than newspapers. Uh, television is really paramount. Uh, why not televise the court? As you know, when um, 
there have been options for me to participate in cameras in the courtroom I have. And as I said to you when we met, Senator, I will certainly relay those positive experiences if I become fortunate enough to, to be there to discuss it with my colleagues. Um, and that question is an important one, obviously. There's legislation being considered both by Congress, or has been considered by Congress at various times, and there's much discussion between the branches on that issue. It is an ongoing dialogue. Um, it is important to remember that the court, because of this issue, has over time uh, made public the transcripts of its hearings quicker and quicker. Um, if I'm uh, accurate now, it used to take a long time for them to make those transcripts available, and now they do it before the end of the day. Um, it's an ongoing process of discussion. Thank you, uh, Judge Sotomayor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, thank you.